Scrap faggot green. You never can tell when somebody will be careless enough to disturb the dead. You see it at the cinema all the time. The hero moves into an old house or castle. He starts to modernize the place. Next thing you know, he's dug up something in the cellar or opened up a secret room and suddenly there are ghosts and monsters all over the place. Of course, what you see in the cinema is fiction. That sort of thing never happens in real life. Or then again, does it? Great Lees is a village in Essex with a very interesting history. Back in the 16th century, it fell prey to one of the foulest plagues ever to sweep across the face of England. The belief in witchcraft. Now, people have believed in witches all the way back to pagan times, but for some reason in the 15th century, the belief got out of hand. It led to a sort of madness. Everybody thought there were witches everywhere. No one was safe from being accused of the evil practice. Worse still, hundreds of innocent people were tortured until they confessed, then convicted by superstitious courts and executed by hanging or burning at the stake. At the height of the witchcraft fever, the good folk of Lees decided they'd found a witch of their own. She was an old woman who lived alone, and whether she was innocent or guilty, she was tried, convicted, and hanged. When she was dead, her body was cut down and buried with a stake through the heart in a piece of waste ground. A large boulder was then rolled over the grave to make sure she stayed there. The area became known as Scrap Faggot Green, Scrap Faggot being an old Essex name for a witch. Time passed and the Great Lees witch was forgotten. Building took place and Scrap Faggot Green shrank to a small triangle bounded by three roads. World War II broke out, American troops arrived in Britain and an American base was established in Great Lees. In 1944, the authorities decided to run a road directly through the remains of Scrap Faggot Green so that the heavy military trucks could drive straight across it. And so a bulldozer arrived and removed the boulder from the witch's grave. And that was when the trouble started. The first thing local poultry farmers noticed was that their hens had gone off laying. Then dairy farmers found their cows were no longer giving milk. Both problems are traditionally associated with witchcraft. Even crop farmers didn't escape. A number of them found their hayricks mischievously overturned. Was it possible that when the boulder was removed, the spirit of the ancient witch was set free? It was difficult to believe in this modern day and age, but then one evening the local church bell began to peal loudly, all by itself. The manifestations became stranger. There was an incident of two neighboring farmers, one kept hens, the other ducks, who woke up one morning and went out to see their birds, and the chicken farmer found his neighbor's ducks in his coop and his hens missing, and the duck farmer found his pens overrun with hens. Now, they might have thought it was the work of a practical joker, but what joker could manage to move several hundred ducks and hens in the middle of a single night without making a single sound. Having terrorized the farming community and announced her presence by ringing the church bell, the sentry's dead witch then flew off to the local pub to make her presence felt there. It was a pleasant hostelry called the St. Anne's Castle, but I wouldn't recommend that visitors order spirits there. Two young women called in one evening to have a quiet drink. In the course of their visit, one of them happened to glance towards an empty fireplace. What she saw there drained the color from her face. She screamed loudly. Then, as her friend asked desperately what was the matter, pitched forward in a dead faint. No one else in the room saw anything. But when the girl came out of her swoon, she was able to explain what had frightened her. She had seen, she said, a sinister dark shape like a strangely distorted human being standing up within the fireplace, directly underneath the chimney. This girl who saw her promptly left and never returned. But the witch, it appeared, had moved in, 
and there were weird happenings at that particular pub for years after. <laughs> <laughs>